Well, I'm almost speechless these days. Uh, this is Friday, March 20th, and um, I guess from my perspective, the fifth day of really um, being affected by what all is going on in the world with the virus. Um, not too bad. I guess this is a week because uh, last Friday I did go in search of toilet paper and went to three stores and called two more. Uh, came home with uh, two giant grocery bags full of facial tissue because that was all I thought I was going to find and then someone uh, very kindly told me about another store that had plenty of it and uh, by the time I got there they were lower but they still actually had plenty of it and several lines that were halfway back in the store you know so it took a while to get out of there but um, I did get some which was good because we didn't have very much anyway it was that time to to go get the month's supply anyway so that that little crisis is over I think everybody's stocked up now on that um, we already had plenty of food because uh, I stocked up the freezers last summer and uh, we have canned goods we are at a point where uh, spring is coming so you know we'll have um, lettuce and other things growing you know that we can just harvest and I mean I wild harvest anyway you know so we'll supplement uh, our greens with uh, things like dandelion leaves which are fantastic as far as um, providing some minerals and vitamins <clears throat> and we also have a big patch of uh, collards that are still living from when they were planted um, a year and a half ago you know so so we're good anyway so the Darlene room uh, is at the point where it's time for me to start furnishing it again a little bit still to do you know I got um, I got to put the little shoe molding down paint it and put it down but I can I'm at the point where I sort of have to start furnishing it because now my uh, benefits job which is a you know five day a week job 40 hours um, on the other side of town they have um, set things up to where we will be working remotely uh, I've got a laptop we've tested everything and so I was going to put um, a work table on this wall, which is what I did have before. Uh, I had like a six foot one, but now with the safe over there, I need room to open that safe. So I've got to cut that down a little bit anyway. And, um, and I'm paring way down on what my crafts are too. Um, I did have just like anything and everything that I was interested in. And now I don't really have time to experiment like that. I've got um, one or two crafts, maybe three, that I'm interested in, in doing and those are things that can um, produce uh, items to sell, you know, for the farm, uh, like the decorated eggs. You know, I've got about 300 of those <laughs> stocked up, so they can go in a closet and I can just take them out and just do a few at a time, you know, and keep things nice and neat. But I want to show you uh, what I'm doing instead since I'm not, I'm totally not going to put that work table in here. Uh, I'm going to do something different uh, and it will still accommodate my crafting. Okay, so there's the sewing cabinet. You know, that's going to be in here and it's, it's a really great size. It has not got anything to do with work, but... Uh, it's part of what's going to help produce some uh, merchandise for the farm, you know, for our sales to support our farm. And that's going to go on this wall with a shelf above it. Um, and so this is the other wall. And I, I, I was going to get rid of this desk, you know, because I really didn't have a place for it, I thought, um, since I converted the office into the genie room or guests. But now that I'm going to be spending maybe a couple of weeks at least working from home, um, I thought this would be useful. I've already got a secretary chair, you know, a rolling chair with the five little things there, legs I guess you'd call them. 
So I'm set to go and uh, I'm gonna set it up over there. Uh, tested Wi-Fi and you know being able to connect already earlier this week. So that's going to go over there and uh, I love that it's a glass top because for doing crafts that'll be easy. And I it's I wanted to use this kind of an as an office anyway some somehow so this is going to work out okay. You know I can tuck my laptop underneath. I can keep like a, a set of um, files over here. I won't need very many. That's not for work. That's just for the farm. You know, little some farm stuff, uh, paperwork that I can keep there. Maybe in a some kind of nice box or something. The Darlene room is a guest room, office, and craft studio, <laughs> but just slightly different furniture in here. Um, and even though I don't really like the reason I'm getting to work from home for a little while, I'm just gonna treat it almost like a working vacation in a way. It's just nice to be home, even if what you're doing is working eight hours, you know? It's a little more relaxed. Um, I get all that commute time to do something else with, you know? And um, I love my home. You know, it's not perfect. I'm working on it. And even when I'm done, it's not going to be perfect, but it will be, it will be fixed up for me and what I need and what my sister needs, what my dog and my cats need, you know, what we need, what my family needs. And uh, if we find that there's something about it that we is not working for us, we can change it, you know. Or learn to be satisfied with it, you know. Like my husband told me one time when I complained about our yellow bathroom, because I really hate the yellow tile in there. And I was trying to talk him into just redoing the whole thing, you know. And he said, Sandra, learn to love yellow. So, and you know, that immediately changed my attitude <laughs> when he did that. So I did. I've learned to uh, not quite hate yellow, <laughs> so, but you know, I reserve the right to change that bathroom one day, maybe in 10 years or something like that. So if you don't like a, a space or a situation, uh, you can just learn to be at peace with it, I guess, is, is the message. So uh, I don't like the situation of what's going on in the world. It's very unsettling, it can be but I'm trying really hard to um, lean into my faith, you know, and know that there's glory for Yahweh that will come out of this. Life wins, life always wins. You know, there may be terrible things going on, on sort of a, not even a micro scale, but close up or personally, but if we can zoom out and look at the big picture, which we might not see that for a while, <clears throat> there will be good that comes out of this. And, um, and life wins. You know, just like today, everybody's worried, you know, about staying healthy, worried about, uh, we're worried about the economy, we're worried for the people who are not getting to work right now and aren't getting paid, we're worried about whether everything's going to come crashing down, you know, but, there are a lot of people holding holding pillars up, you know, uh, working hard to make sure everything's going to be stay in place, you know. They can have businesses that stay viable. So amongst all that worry, you know, and, and trying to adapt, I know someone whose grandchild was born today. And so there you are, something happy. You know, something cheerful, something that gives you hope. It's life. It's the future. You know? Life wins. Life wins every single time. I hope you keep hope. And I hope you are in a position to uh, feel, feel relaxed a little bit. Feel trusting. And to just cozy up to home for a while and, and find a way to, to enjoy that.
maybe keep a watch on your neighbors too. Y'all take care of each other and uh, I'm gonna work this weekend on getting the Darlene room, craft studio, office, and guest room all set up. Yahweh's peace to all of us.